was um, completed with um, back in 2010, we had an, a, an adventure campery in the south of England. And it was actually play, based on the Jurassic Coast in the UK near Portsmouth. Um, we had great fun that, that campery um, um, because we were able to go down on the beach and look for fossils. And we found quite a few fossils there. Um, so we're going to talk about flood, the flood, and also um, uh, the fossils and how they're created and, and, and things like that. Okay, so I'm just going to, um, I'll just let you know as well too, when this award was created, my, my oldest daughter was just about eight, nine years old at the time. So she was an adventurer and, and, and she was very, very um, in, involved in helping this award to be created. And I do have another daughter as well, um, who is younger, but, um, but and everyone, my wife as well, everyone took part in creating this, this honor. Um, but I, so I want to recognize them for, for helping in creating this honor this time. All right, so what do you need for this honor? Well, in your, in your worksheets, you should have, if you can get some, some um, modeling clay or modeling sand, um, if you've got some olives, we're gonna use that during the time of our, of, of our award. Um, if you've got a pair of scissors, you need to use that at some point and glue. Um, if you do have plaster of Paris, that thing you make when, when, when someone gets a, a broken bone and the doctors go and put something around their arms and it comes out a little white hard thing you can sometimes knock people on the, on the head with. But no, no, I'm not saying you must do that. But um, this plaster of Paris is very useful in making little dinosaurs um, or, or, or little fossil, um, fossil models. But if you don't, haven't got it, um, that's okay. Um, um, we, 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 at some point, we'll show you, talk to you about how to, how to get it done. Should have your award worksheet and a pen or a pencil to, to write the answers down. Okay, so what do we need to do for this award? All right, first of all, you need to, the, the award, you need to, 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 um, to understand the story of Noah and the flood, all right? And you've got in your worksheets, we're gonna talk about the story of Noah and the flood, we're gonna talk about the creatures, we're gonna talk about the ark, we'll talk about the birds that came out of the ark, We'll talk about olives. Mm. And I've got some olives here. Ooh, got some olives here to, um, for, for, my, to, for me to taste later on. We'll talk about fossils. What are the rules about hunting for fossils? And um, we'll talk about um, 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 different fossils and, and rocks as well. And, and who, who, who's a paleontologist? We'll talk about who that is. And then, Try and see if you can make a fossil, right? But we will we, see how this goes. Should be exciting, right? Here we go. Here we go. The story of the flood. Retell the story of the flood. Now, there are some things about stories that we need to, to be to be to be aware of. It's found. This one in particular is found in Genesis chapter six to chapter nine. And in a good story, you need to have main characters. You need to have a setting. You need to have a plot. You need to have a conflict and the theme. What's the theme of our story? So let's talk about the main characters. Main characters in the story are who? Who can tell me who are the main characters in the story? All right, let's uh, let's get everybody writing because uh, we have some amazing adventurers. Just like you know, Bernard, maybe you missed that part, but have adventurers like true little ninjas. So, who is the main character of the story? Okay, here it is. The flood. Uh, yes. Who are please, the main characters? Who can tell me? Uh, please use the chat section in the Zoom or the comment section on a Facebook. And as we are waiting for your answers, uh, Bernard, uh, just a few seconds, uh -huh. uh, uh, we have a, we just have a few greetings to read. <laughs> All right, yeah, uh, yeah. we have we have. It's not uh, Marco Field, but his daughter. Is that Tracy? Is that right? Is that right? What's what's the name? I do just unmute yourself. I do apologize. Katie. Katie. Thank so you. Katie was the first one to write it down. Well done, Katie. Ah. Uh, uh, we have Cliff who also said uh, right answer there. I think. Well, Vernon, you will judge on that one. Uh, but uh, Katie said it is Noah, 
uh, yeah. Cliff said this, no, and God, Cliff, and you know, and God, and then uh, 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 Sinkumo said Noah and his family, and Hansel said Noah, uh, Leia and Luna said Noah's wife. This uh -huh. is the wow, and that uh, when it comes to Facebook, we have Primrose who said Noah, and in just between I all of this, I just want to say hey, hello to everybody on our Facebook because Vernon, as we were talking a little bit, Vernon, yeah. uh, uh, the Facebook went crazy. Uh, so people are saying hello from Ghana, from Nigeria, Ooh. from Sri Lanka. Uh, Welcome from, all over the world. Oh, yes. Katie's from States. So uh, uh, so we have a lot of people today from all around the world. But guys, welcome to everybody. Yeah, go ahead, Vernon. Okay, so so we got, I heard, I heard Noah, I heard God, I heard his family, but who? Do we know the names of, 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 of the family? Who else have we got Ooh. in the family? We got some names, name Noah's children. Let's Who do that. They? It's Who time to write again. Names of the children and, and everybody else do we know? Yes. Who do we got? Who do we got? Okay, here it is. Uh, markets. Uh, I need to get to know Markets because Markets is like one of the most active members here, by the way. Markets said uh, there's Noah, his wife, and his children, uh, Sham, Ham, and Japheth, and, and, uh, and their wives. Uh, well, so 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 we have we have Mr. Noah, we have Mrs. Noah. Um, and we got Mr. Shem, Mrs. Shem, Mr. Ham, Mr. Sham, Mrs. Ham, and Mr. Japheth, and Mrs. Japheth. So at least eight people we've got characters here, plus one. Talk about God. Yeah? All yes. right. So, 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 okay. So here's the setting. We have, we have, we have, we have a, 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 a world that God has created. And there were so many people that were not doing what God wanted them to really do. And they began to do some things that were not really good. And God said, who can tell me what God said? God said, I am going to. I am going to. Anyone can tell me. All righty, uh, Vernon. When you are uh, only the people uh, in Zoom can actually uh, feel your words because it's nine seconds delay between uh, Facebook and uh, uh, so I will read. Uh, here it is. Uh, we have again uh, good answers here. Send a flood. Uh, Summer said, "Make a flood." Uh, Leah and Luna said, uh, "Flood the earth." Uh, yeah. So everybody seems to me uh, is doing they've, excellent. They've got this. They've, they've got it. So you understand what ha was happening. Things weren't going good. And God said, I am going to change some things. And I'm going to send a flood. So what's the plot? Right. So um, 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 Noah. Okay. Here's what you got to do. Here's a plan. Here's a plot. Here's a plan. All right. Um, Noah, build an ark. Build this big boat. And, 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 put, and put everything that I want you to put inside there. In fact, I'm gonna lead some people, I'm gonna lead some, lead some things into the ark and, 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 and I'm gonna close the door. And the rain is gonna come. And the, the, the conflict in the story, ooh. So we have Noah trying to, teach, to, to preach to, his, to, to the people around and they don't want to really hear what he wants to say. And they say, no, no, we have never had a flood. We never had rain. I mean, look at the sky. It's beautiful. It's blue. We've rain. Ain't no rain in England. It's no rain. No rain. So, 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 so here is what Noah had to deal with. Sun all the time and no rain. And the people were saying, we don't believe you, Noah. We don't believe you. So. Noah for 120 years preached, 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 preached that there was going to be this flood to come. And then, and then the flood came. And they, this was very different to what the people said. And then Noah was saved. Noah was saved. I tell you what, I am going to, to, to play something for you because you need to tell this story. You need to write this story down in your worksheet. But just as a, just as a, 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 a recap on the whole story, we're gonna see what happened. Okay, here we go. Here we go.
Hey ranchers, welcome back to Draw the Bible. I'm Sara, and on this week, we have the story of Noah and the flood. Noah was a righteous man, blameless among the people of his time. Now Noah and his wife had three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Now at this time in the Bible, the earth had become so corrupt and filled with darkness. God saw how corrupt the earth had become, for all the people on earth had corrupted their ways. So God said to Noah, I am going to put an end to all people, for the earth is filled with violence because of them. I am surely going to destroy both them and the earth. So make yourself an ark of cypress wood. So God gave Noah a sort of blueprint, and he said, This is how you are to build it. Make a roof for it, leaving below the roof an opening one cubit high all around. Length of it should be 450 feet long, 45 feet high, and 75 feet wide. Seven days from now I will send rain on the earth for 40 days and 40 nights, and I will wipe from the face of the earth every living creature I have made. Noah did everything just as God commanded him. The Lord said to Noah, Go into the ark, you and your whole family, because I have found you righteous in this generation. Take with you seven pairs of every kind of clean animal, a male and its mate, and one pair of every kind of unclean animal, a male and its mate. Pairs of all creatures that have the breath of life in them came to Noah and entered the ark. The animals going in were male and female of every kind, as God had commanded Noah. For forty days the flood kept coming on the earth, and as the waters increased, they lifted the ark high above the earth. The waters rose and increased greatly on the earth, and the ark floated on the surface of the water. The waters rose and covered the mountains to a depth of more than twenty-three feet. The waters flooded the earth for a hundred and fifty days. The water receded steadily from the earth. At the end of the hundred and fifty days, the water had gone down. The ark came to rest on the mountains of Ararat. Then Noah sent out a dove from the ark. When the dove returned to him in the evening, there in its beak was a freshly plucked olive tree. Then Noah knew that the water had receded from the earth. Then God said to Noah, Come out of the ark, you and your wife and your sons and their wives. And this is how we got the rainbow. God made a promise to us and to all people and all generations that he would never again flood the earth with water and destroy all life. So he gave us this rainbow as a sign that whenever it rains, we would be reminded. Okay, so you've got the answers to your first question, right? You can tell the story of the flood, and then you can also name Noah's children, um, and, you've, and you've got some answers for later on as well, a little bit of answers for, for a little bit later on. So any questions at all from anyone? Let's find out. Any more questions, any questions for Vernon on, on all of this? No, Vernon, it doesn't look to me, but uh, they're all listening very carefully for sure. Good. It's lovely to hear that. Okay, no questions. All right, so so here, here, here are what, here's what we're gonna do next. We have some animals that we have to try and, and, and identify. So uh, we need to name some animals that enter the ark as clean animals and unclean animals. And then we're gonna give them male and female names. All right, so let's start first with animals that went into the ark. Now I want you to talk to me and give me some feedback on animals. We're gonna go through the alphabet and I want you to give me five animals that went into the ark according to the alphabet. Okay, Ooh. here we go. A is the first one. Let's go with A. Uh, thank you so much for pointing out that's the first letter of alphabet because me as a foreigner, you never know when ah. the reality is. Okay, people, let's go on letter eight. Which animals entered the ark? I know that it's very hard to type with the one hand or one finger or sometimes maybe moms and dads need to help. Somebody mentioning ants. Ants, uh, yay. Somebody said anaconda. Ooh, that's a nice big snake, yes. Somebody said antelope. Antelope. Fast, yes. Very good. Uh -huh. uh, two more, two more. Uh, I, the, uh, uh, Chelsea said, said animal that I cannot read, by the way, but it is definitely on A. So okay. well done for that. Uh, okay, let's right. go. Here's what I've got. Here's what I've got. I've got aardvark. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Ooh. Give me a second. One. Mm. Okay. I've got I, I. Now, I, I. Now, that one's a new one to me. It's that bottom on my screen here. It's one here. It's a, it's a mammal. It's got very large eyes. 
bottom of my screen, I've got albatross. Albatross is a bird, very, very wide wings, very, very long wings. Um, I've got alpaca, mm. it's almost like a sheep and a sheep and a, a camel mixture. So the high into camel, toe, neck, toe, necks. And I've got the ant. Oh, yes, what we call the ant. Mm. Yeah, so okay, let's move on to B. Let's a B. Ooh, B. Are we going to go all alphabet, uh, uh, Vernon? You're going the whole alphabet. Are you serious? Yes, man. Well, guys, you need to type because Vernon might not have time to do this. So, Hi. B, bear, uh, bear again. Somebody said bird, uh, bat, uh, buffalo. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, we have on, um, oh, we have a bat on a Facebook as well. So, let's go, Vernon. You show us yours. Okay, hey, what's what I got? I got a go. babu. I've got a bat. I got beavers. <clears throat> I got bears. Bears could be brown bears, black bears, polar bears, still a bear. I got badgers. We got lots of badgers in England here. I don't yes. Know badgers in America. We got badgers in England. Mm -hmm. Okay, we All got right. C. What other animals might have gone to the ark? C. C. People, it's time to write really fast. <laughs> so here it is the C. Hey, just to let you know, Vernon, somebody mentioned baboons as well. We would like baboons to be there as well. <laughs> yeah, I got baboons for B. Oh, very good, very good, very good. Yay. Oh, yes, 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 see. Sorry about that. Uh, so C, we have cow, camel, uh, cheetah. Uh, let me just see Facebook. Somebody mentioned cats. So let's not yes. forget cats. Yes. Oh, the cats are winning on Facebook. Oh, let's... here's what I've got. I got codfish. Mm. Okay. I got cockroach. Mm, some, not, not very many people like cockroaches. They, yeah. They're the least liked ones. Cheats are very fast. Centipede, very small and, 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 and can be dangerous at times. Cicada. Oh, I grew up in lots of cicadas. You hear them all in the trees. Oh, yeah, yeah. In the summertime, especially when it's hot. You hear them making loud noises. Okay, let's go to D. What we got for okay. D? D, let's go. Uh, we, uh, we have a lot of letters to go, people. Yes. Yeah. So, so let's do it. Somebody said dog. Yes. Oh, uh, people are on the Facebook still writing on letter C. It's just the ones that you didn't mention. I'll mention now. It's a coyote and a cougar. Uh, but now letter D, dog is the one. Uh, deer was just mentioned now. Uh, 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 okay. Well, why don't show us yours? I've got dingo. Type of a dog in Australia. Where yes. in Australia? Like a dolphin. Door mouse, quite small little mouse, dragonfly, pretty little dragonflies all over water. And we got ducks, see lots of ducks. Here we go, E. Let's go, E. Yeah. We can do it. E. Um, so here it is. Um, uh, okay, elephant, somebody mentioned. Elephant, elephant, yes. I got elephant, I got elephant shrew. There's a tiny little shrew. And moo. With a big air. You got eagles. Emperor Pignin, Penguin. I got Eastern Blue Birds. Okay, now we got um, F. There we go. Whoa, oh, F, 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 a uh, fox. Yes. Here's the first one. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, let me just see. A, fi a fish, well, fish didn't need to be on a boat, Vernon, because there was a <laughs> lot of water. A falcon. Uh -huh. uh, a frog, yeah, okay, okay. Yes. Uh, fish, okay. Uh, Facebook right. is still still not giving answers. Give me a second. Uh, well, the Facebook just, well, show us yours, yeah. I got, I got frog, yeah, different. So many of them have frog, that poisonous ones as well, big ones. But follow deer. Oh, these are, they are nice to see. Flamingo, very pretty, very pretty. Flying squirrel. Oh, to see a flying squirrel is, is great. First seals, oh, they're, they're, they're lovely too. All right, here we go, G. Okay, uh, G guys, uh, what is on G? Somebody mentioned a goat, goat. A gorilla, oh, yes. goat. Uh, giraffe, yes. uh, goose, yes. uh, giffy, I don't know what is that. Oh, okay, here's my Gs. I got giraffe, yes, someone have that one. Gerbil, that's a little, yeah. little type of, um, uh, look like a mouse. Um, I got Gila Monster. Those, those those ones are big, like big lizards. But they could be looking, they could look a bit um, vicious at times. Glow worm. So on my picture, I've got a glow worm here. You see a glow worm on my on my screen. And then we got guinea fowl. Those are nice. They're nice to eat as well, too. You know, guinea fowl. Oh. 
Ooh, okay, here we go, H. Uh, H is the letter. We need animals in H. The type quick, quick people. Oh, we have a horse. Yes. Hawk. How? Yes. Okay, here's what I've got. I got a hoopy. I got a hoopy. Hoopy is a type of bird. It's a pretty bird. The bird on my screen. It's a hoopy. I've got honeybee. Um, got hummingbirds, another lovely bird. I got hyenas. Oh, they could be they could be aggressive at times. I got a hammerhead shark. I remember seeing a hammerhead shark when I was about seven or eight years old, first time. They look ugly, but they but they all right. Just to let you know, darling, uh, he's saying hamster. Yeah. Uh, Prim and Primo says hippo. Hippo, they're the nice big ones. Yes, there we go. I. We got I. Let's go, people. Aye, right. uh, we're gonna be here for a really long time if we don't start, start fast. We're gonna work fast. We're gonna work fast. Somebody said iguana. Yes. Very good. Uh, Here's my list. I've got iguana on my list. It's the first one. I've got ibis. Oh, that's a nice, a very lovely bird. Impala. Very stately looking deer type. Yeah. Irish setter type of a dog. I got an Indo Chinese tiger as well. Okay, here we go, G. Let's go, oh, oh okay. J, J, J. J, the famous letter J. Uh, jackal, mm -hmm. I know. Uh, so, um, uh, uh, just to, uh, 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 while we're waiting for the answers, uh, Jackal, Jaguar. Yes. And um, that's all, show us your Js. Here's my J, my J, I've got Jackal. I've got Jaguar. I've got jellyfish. Ooh, imagine to go to the, the sea and get bitten by a jellyfish. I got Jack Russell, little nice dogs. I got Japanese macaque. That's a lovely bird, a Japanese macaque. Ooh, I've got a honeybee just a bumblebee just on my come on my on my paper. Like, oh, okay, J K. What about K? K. Let's go. K. Let's see what we have there. Oh, we have a kingfisher. Yes, lovely bird. Uh, that's all. Show us yours. Okay, I've got um, I got kingfisher as well. I got a kiwi, koala, king crab on my screen. You got a picture of the king crab on the side here. Yeah. I got killer whale, and yes, we go on to L. Oh, we have a kangaroo. Just to let you know. Kangaroo. The kangaroo, and then we have a lot. Well, we have letter L now, so we yes. have lizard, yes. leopard, yes. lion, ladybird. Uh, I've got ladybug in my thing, ladybird, ladybug, same one, yeah. I got lemur, I got a lynx, those are I like lovely. lemurs, and the locust, yeah. Locust mentioned in the Bible as well, too, in Egypt, and lobster. All right, and let's go to M. Letter M, M. somebody said monkey. Yes. Uh, second monkey came. Any other animals on M? Meerkat. Oh, meerkat. Oh, meerkat is my, one of my favorite ones. Magpie. I magpie. I had a magpie in my garden earlier on. Very noisy. Moths, see them at night time. You got the minks. Them, they, they, they're quite slinky. The minks. Oh, yeah. Yes, okay. Um, N. N. Uh, let's go for the end. Hey, thank you so much for giving fast answers, you good people. Um, I'm sorry I'm not able to uh, read all of them, uh, otherwise, we'll be here forever. So, and uh, ooh, I don't even know how to read that one, bad. <laughs> but she's gonna show us yours, okay? I got newt, it's like almost it looks like a, like a little lizard, but it's an amphibian as well. The newt is one nightingale type of bird. The numbat, that's a, that, that's another one on my screen here. It was one of the uh, mammals, nurse shark, and we also got a Norfolk Terrier type of a, type of a dog. Okay, and M, and M O O O. We have an octopus. Yay! Ox. Yes. Uh, um, I got octopus on my list. Very good. Yay! Ocelot, another type of cat um otter in the water oh, i've got an ostrich it's very fast running the oyster in this sea all right 
Imagine all these animals. Somebody so, mentioned uh, owl as well on a Facebook. Oh yeah, very very old wise old. And owl. osprey. Mm -hmm. Let's go to pee. Osprey, yes. Beep, 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 beep. Let's go. Penguin. Penguin. Parrot. Pig. Panda. I got parrot. I got peacock. Who loves the peacock feathers? The they peacock. are pretty. Porcupine. Ooh, is the spines of the porcupine. Platypus. Now, that's a strange one. That's one of the strangest animals you'll find. And then the piranha. Mm, do they really bite that hard? Um, I wouldn't try. I wouldn't test it. Would you, Dayan? All righty. Uh, What's next? Okay, Q. Q, Q. Q. Oh, how many animals do you know, Q people? Let's hear that. Q. I'm sure you wouldn't know these ones. Let's see if you know them. Show us, show us. Oh, I got quail. I got quail. I got quetzal. And I've got quokka. I've got a quokka on my screen here. I've got a quokka. It's the one below here. I've got my, no, that's a, that's a, that's a quokka. Yeah, my quokka. All right. Um, R. We should know R. Some animals in R. Q is a bit difficult, but there's let's go with R. What do you think? A rabbit, a rhino. Yes, a raccoon. Ooh. A raccoon. I like raccoons. We don't have raccoons in England. What happened with that? Yeah, but, oh, I could tell you a story or two about raccoons in America. Ooh, oh, there's oh. Katie. Yeah. Katie bro. Is that which, which, which one is that one? Rhinoceros. Ooh. Ay, lovely, lovely. You got Rottweiler. Rooster. And rooster. Raven. Uh, and uh, we've got we've got a, a, a red screw. We have don't have very many of them in, in, in England. We have more than in Scotland. Rhinoceros. Rhinoceros. Uh, thank Rhinoceros. you so much for saying that. Just use the use the chat section because we want to make sure it's good for recording as well. All right. What is the next letter? Yes, next letter is S. Yes, a seahorse. Seahorse, yeah. I can see the mom's dad typing fast and faster. The <laughs> Facebook is going to the point of meltdown. Seal, sea fish, starfish. Uh, right. You got a smelly one here, skunk. Rimpage. And, and sardine fish, yeah. Scorpion, they can be a bit dangerous. Squid as well. And a Siberian tiger. We don't have... They, they're getting less and getting more and more extinct. People are using them for their for their coats very much. Okay, let's go to T. We should have T's. Hey, oh, tea. tiger. Tiger, yes. Oh, my God. What else? Mm -hmm. Somebody said uh, tortoise. Tortoise, yeah. Okay, Turkey. I, got, I got tortoise is my first one here. And then termite, very tiny. Um, Tasmanian devil. That's another one in Australia you can find, Australia and, and New Zealand. Um, yes. Toucan fish, um, toucan bird, big, big, colorful beak. And we got the tawny owl as well. Okay, let's hit you. You. Who's got the U's? And it's uh, not, not the Uber drivers either. They're not the uh, you, uh, at the moment, we have the animals I cannot read. The wakari. Wakari. Okay. Yes. We've got. Wakari, that's right. That's one of my screen here. We've got the oh somebody just wrote a unicorn. Uh, um, 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 um. If you can find me a fossil for the unicorn, I'll be great. Uh, Vernon, uh, we have not too much time, so we cannot discuss unicorns right now. Uh, <laughs> let's go to the next one. Next letter V. V is another one that doesn't have very too many animals in V's. But what do we got? We, got uh, we, uh, we have a uh, uh, vultures. Yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay, you show us yours. Vulture, vampire bat, vampire squid. Oh, imagine vampire squid, vervet monkeys. And we've got the vaquita. Vaquita. Okay, let's move on to W. W. Come Vol in. Wolves, whale. You can't put the whale in the, in the, in the, in the, in the, Ark, uh, but thank you. Wasp, 
Uh, wombat. Wombat is one of my favorite animals. You got, you got uh, a neck of wombat. Oh, yes, yes. Let's and go. Nice, yeah. lovely. Very slim type dog, you know. Very good runner. Whippets. Yay. All right. Here we go. X. Who we have in X? This is a child. X. Area. One. Yes. X. X. If you don't know, here's what I've got. I've got two. X-ray. Two I could find. I can find an X-ray tetra, and I can find a Xerus. Xerus is that animal on the bottom corner, bottom right on my on my screen. The Xerus. All right. Okay. Why? Two more to go. Why? Why, Vernon, did you choose to do every single letter? <laughs> uh, yuck uh, is number one. Um, what else here would we have on the Y? What else is there? Let me see. Let me oh, see. A few here. I've got a yak. I've got a Yorkshire Terrier. I've got a yellow fin tuna. The Yorkie Bichon. And I've got a yellow eyed penguin. Oh. Very good. Yeah. Very good. Very good. Okay. So last one. Here we go. Last one. Who's got the last one? Z. 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 We have zebra. Uh, we have zebra. We have zebra fish. Yes. We have uh, zokor. Awesome. Oh, this is what I've got. Zebra, zebra shark. I got the zebu at the top here, the zebu. And I've got the zonkey. Zonkey is a cross between a zebra and a donkey. And the zorse is a cross between a zebra and a horse. We've got these animals all in the ark. Most of them, at least, not the fishes or the birds. But, okay, so here we go. Who can tell me? Who we need to know now? Uh, just call out for me or write in the letter box for me, write in the chat for me. Who is the, the name of the male and female animals for the ant? The male animal for the ant is a, and the female is a, male is a, and the female. Tell us, tell us, Venus. It, the male is a drone and the female is a queen. Wow. Yes. All right. How about the how about the chicken? Male male chicken is called there. Uh, Rooster. Yes, and the female is called there. Uh, you tell us. Ah, it's called a hen. Mm. Uh. All right. So how about how about a uh, uh, um uh, how about the cat? How about a cat? Male cat is called a. Uh, it's called a tom, and the female is called a queen. Oh, we're sure you didn't know that one. You may not have known that one. All right. <clears throat> a horse. A male is called a... A stallion. Yay. And the female is called a... It's called a mare. Oh, in some places, you call them a dam. D-A-M. All right. Give me two. I'm doing two more. Right, so the male pig is called a male pig is called a begins with a B, a boar, and the female pig is called a sow. S O W. Do one more. Let's do one more. Um, all right, male lion is called a. It's called a lion, and the female lion is called a lioness. Lioness. Yes, excellent, excellent. All right. So, so you've got female names, male names, and as much as you can with writing this in your worksheet. And then we've got the clean and unclean animals. So here's how we knew how the unclean animals went into the ark. They write the unclean or the clean animals went into the ark. How? Seven pairs, Noah had to take seven pairs of clean animals into the ark. And, and, and they also were like, some examples, we got sheep, and we've got, we've got, we've got, we've got goats, and um, we have also got deer. So imagine seven pairs of sheep and seven pairs of goats and seven pairs of deer, and all the other clean animals. The unclean animals, only one pair. He was only to take one pair into the ark. And we've got unclean animals like um, rabbits. No, he can't eat them. No, no, no. 
and rats no no you can't eat them big ones or little ones you can't eat them or crocodiles no you shouldn't eat them either all right so these are unclean animals and then god also asked noah to take seven pairs of birds of all the birds into the ark as well all right so the ark what did it look like well we've got we've got the ark was supposed to be 450 feet long that's bigger than a 747 plane that's almost twice the size of a 747 plane and the titanic was bigger right so if you look at the picture of the titanic and the ark recognize that the ark was going to be a bit smaller than the titanic um but then i need you to make an ark when you're finished with it take a picture of it and put it in your worksheet okay yeah and please do send uh the, send us the picture of your arcs and i'm gonna post the in my email in the in the chat section right now and then on the zoom so mm -hmm. make sure guys uh, because we're gonna publish them on wednesday so please do send us yeah that'd be really good i've got two pictures on my screen here two arcs two replica arcs one of them is in america the one on the on the right hand side is in america and the one on the bottom in the little bluish color that's actually one that is docked in england at the moment right and it's a, it's a museum. It, it's only about half the size of the, of the real arc though, about 230 feet long. That's the one at the bottom, but it has, a, it has lots of things inside it. If you're in England, make an appointment to go to that museum in the ark. All right, it'd be a really good one to go to. Now, at the end of the flood, Mo, um, Noah sent out two birds. What were the birds that he sent out? He sent two birds out out of the ark he sent a dove and he sent a raven he sent a dove twice dove or oh, the dove came back didn't have anything the first time in the raven raven mm, didn't come come back Sent the dove again the dove came back with something in its mouth the dove came back with something uh, with an olive branch now olives now I don't, I don't know if you know what the dove sounds like or the raven. They can be quite noisy at times, you know. Not so much the doves, but the raven, right? So I want you to, to listen to the sound of a, of a dove and listen to the sound of a raven and, and then write in your worksheet what they sound like, right? Try and see if you can sing a song using the sounds of the, of the, of the raven or the sound of the dove, okay? And write that information down on your worksheet, okay? They came up with an olive. Now I got, I got, I got some olives here. Mm. Uh, mm, uh, mm -hmm. mm. It is not. Mm. Are you okay, Vern? Mm -hmm. I, I was worried there for a few seconds. Mm. I'm just eating my olive here. Mm. Imagine. Who likes olives? If you like olives, mm. say yes in the chat uh, mm -hmm. and in the comment section. How many of you like olives? You need Ooh, to eat yeah. an olive. Mm -hmm. You need to taste an olive and write what it tastes like. Ah, mm, 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 mm. You need to taste an olive. Yes, it's good. I love olives. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. What can you make from olives? Mm. Some people make bread. Mm -hmm. Ooh, some people mm. love it. Some people don't love it, Vernon. Uh, no. But uh, yeah, what can you make from the olives? Uh, you can make definitely oils. Yes. Yes. You bread. You can make, you can pickle them. I got some onions here. Got olives here. Oh. Very good. Mm -hmm. Next, we're going to move on to fossils. Mm. Well, I finished this olive. Mm. Nice one. What about fossils? So when you are hunting for fossils, when you talk about fossils in a bit, a little bit more, when you're hunting for them, be, be safe. Then, where are you going to go to? Be safe, go with someone, an adult, be patient, because you may not always find them. Respect your environment, don't just dig up and just leave things all around the place. And you gotta report where you found, what you found as well, okay? Protect your fossils, keep them in a good place and, and, and leave them there if you can. Okay, some fossils are best seen by lots of people. When they're there, you take it away, that means no one else can see them or less people can see them. Okay, so see some important rules about hunting for fossils. You can write any of these down. These are important rules 
when you hunt for fossils. Okay, the next thing we gotta do is to look at some main types of fossils. All right, so we have- Vernon, well, just to give you a little bit of timing, you know, maybe about 10 more minutes, kind of, just to okay. let you know. That's fine. We can finish in that time. No, per that's perfect. Yes. So we have five main types of fossils, okay? We have um, um, carbon films. We got molds and casts. We got petrified fossils. We got trace fossils and preserved remains. Because, see, these fossils came from, uh, it, well, we will talk about how they're made in a bit. Right? How are fossils, where they come from? On your sheet, you've got a bird or, a, you will, we've got a, 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 an animal, you've got a dinosaur here on your worksheet. What I'm asking you to do is to cut the pieces out and reassemble them on your sheet, like the picture you have above. All right? Then you're going to take some pictures of some fossils, but you're going to, but you may have to look for them. You have to go and go to a museum and see what some fossils look, look like. I've got some fossils here. I've got a large fossil here. Can you see this one? Yeah, that's a large fossil. Well, it's a large, it's, it, it has a shell, just like the mold or the cast type of fossil. I've got another one very similar to that. It's here. Um, again, it's like a mold or a cast past from a shell. So, so these came from this near the sea where these fossils were, were kept, were found. Um, and then we're going to identify three different types of rocks, right? We have we have igneous rocks. We've got um, um, igneous rocks are, are rocks when they're formed when the, the 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 molten rock, like volcanic rock, volcanic lava, gets to the earth surface and it cools down. Um, we got some other rock which are formed when the when the crystallized magma cools over time from the volcano, right? So quick time, slow time, we've got different types of rocks. We've got metamorphic rocks, and we've got some sedim sedimentary rocks. So the ones that are metamorphic, are like the quartz crystals, okay? Um, and, then, and then the ones that are sedimentary rocks are like the slates and shale and limestone type of rocks. So you need to get some pictures mm -hmm. of some rocks and some fossils and put them in your worksheet, okay? different types if you can that will be better all right okay so we're coming to the end we're coming to the end here we are looking at the work of a paleontologist a paleontologist is someone is a scientist really who studies the the the, the, the fossilized remains of all kinds of organisms plants animals fungi bacteria all types of animals and then they are interested in knowing about the history of this life, of, of this animal or this organism that, that became fossilized. So let's, let's look and see how these things became fossilized. All right, here we go. So we got an animal, right? That, that let's say happened in the, around the time of the flood. This animal just better. Okay. The animal dies, the animal gets buried, in the ground and over time more 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 um soil and more dirt gets over and rock gets over the animal buries it deeper and deeper most of the body of the animal gets will decompose even some of the bone but in some parts gets buried there so deeply it stays there and it becomes part of the rock that was that, that that covers it that becomes as it builds up builds up builds up the minerals in the in, in the in the water that goes through that rock they make the the rock or make the the bones of that animal into a replica of what it used to be which is what you have as a fossil so if you see what i've got here we've got this dinosaur that was probably buried during the flood and deeper and deeper as the earth was turned up around the flood, time of the flood, the earth was turned, turned and churned and turned and churned and got buried deeper and deeper. And bit by bit over time, the, the water in the, the, in the, in the, in the, in the um, earth seeped through the, 
the, the, the earth down to where this, 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 this dinosaur was, creating with the minerals, creating this replica on the, on the actual surface of the, of the, of the soil, of the, right below there. And you've got this replica. So later on, as the water and the rain has come and has removed quite a bit of that, that dirt, someone's walking by and they see some bones sticking out or they see a rock that has some picture that looks like a, a bone of some sort. But actually, it's a fossilized rock replica of that animal that was there. And then we have the fossil. The paleontologist goes and digs up and finds that fossil. There we go. Fossils are formed that way. And you can find fossils. You can make your own fossil. This is where we want you to, to try this out. Get some plaster of Paris. And then you can make a, make a, um, a mold. Pour that into the, into the, pour the plaster of Paris into it. Let it set for a few minutes, about 10, 20 minutes to 30 minutes. Take off the plaster, of, um, take off the mold, and you will have your own, your own fossil. Imagine, imagine you were building, you were making your fossil so quickly. And some people say the fossils that we see have taken millions and millions of years. But you, you've just made something that's fossilized or replica. And that's how quickly those fossils that we find we found would have been made. Those large ones would have been made by the flood. Remember, you talk about the flood with Noah and the ark. God sent the flood there, and it created for us. For time, from even now, we can see what God created way back then because we we're able to dig those things up now, and we've got fossils now we can see. Oh, isn't God wonderful? We're talking about the theme of a story. The theme of our story is that God loves us so much he looked after noah in and when the flood came he protected them and he says i will never send a flood again to destroy the earth i will protect you so no matter what happens no matter what comes your way if you stick with me i will protect you and that's the story of floods and fossils